Hey guys, it's been a while. Um, I feel like we should catch up. There has been a lot that is going on. Um, for one thing, Eric and I are officially going to the BTS concert in LA, and we are so, so, so excited. More to come on that later. Um, but anyways, right now we're going to do a tutorial. I have been receiving some questions about my last spring things lookbook and how I achieved that soft blur uh, and vintage grain uh, effect. So we're gonna run by that really quickly today. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I do use Adobe Premiere Pro for, um, Adobe Premiere Pro CC for all my videos. So that's what going, we're going to be uh, focusing on for today. Okay, so we're gonna start off here in Adobe Premiere Pro with my project already opened. I already have a sequence of clips ready to go. Um, and yeah, we'll start off with a soft blur first. So what we're gonna do is that we're going to, uh, okay, sorry, ignore Facebook. So now we're going to open a new uh, adjustment layer. So you're gonna go down to the new items, create a new adjustment layer. Video settings are perfect. We're gonna drag this above our clips. I like to give myself some room to work. So I'm gonna drag it to V3. Um, and now we're going to add an effect. Okay, I already have fast blur typed in, so that's the effect we're going to be using. You can use any other blur as well, but for this, my our, for our purposes, fast blur I think works the best. So we're going to double click it, make sure that adjustment layer is selected, um, and now you're going to see a fast blur module pop up in your effect controls panel for your adjustment layer. Um, so what we're going to do is that we're going to adjust our blurriness to let's say 30. Uh, we're going to repeat the edge pixels so you no longer see that vignetting. And we are going to add an ellipse mask. So this means that right now we're going to have everything inside the circle be blurry and then everything on, on the outside in focus. But in reality, we actually want it to be the opposite. So we're going to click inverted. And ta-da! Now we notice that there is kind of a hard edge between uh, the blurriness and the focus part. So we're gonna add um, a bigger mask feather. So let's say like 150, actually, no, you know what? Let's change it to 300. Um, the mask opacity, you can change it so that the blurriness isn't as heavy. I'm gonna change it to around 80. Um, the mask expansion is how big of a focus area you want. So I'm going to change it to 150. Mm, you know what? Let's say 300. Oh, what did I do? Okay. Okay, 300. There we go. So um, I'm just going to play this for you guys to show you the effect. So now you can see you have the outside blurry and the center uh, in focus. Okay, so we're gonna just play with that. It's a little actually uh, heavy, so um, you could change the opacity if you wanted to, but for the purposes of this video, to make it uh, easier to see, we're just gonna leave the settings. So now we're gonna do the vintage grain. Um, on YouTube, I've created a playlist with uh, film grain overlays that you guys can download. Um, I'll put the link in the description as well as a link to the exact grain that I used for the Spring Things lookbook um, in the description as well. So um, for the film grain that you find on YouTube, all you need to do is open your generic uh, YouTube to MP4 converter, download the YouTube video into an MP4 video, and copy exactly what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so I have our film grain here. I'm gonna drag it above the adjustment layer. Um, make sure that your grain is always above your soft blur so that the grain applies to everything more evenly and it gives it a more authentic film look. Okay, so now that we have the grain in the layer, we don't see anything but the grain. So what we're gonna have to do is that we're gonna have to open the effects control panel for that grain. Um, you're gonna change your blend mode to overlay and immediately you see the video underneath. So uh, you can change your opacity if you don't like too much grain, but um, before that, I'm just gonna show you what the grain looks like. Okay, I, 
just realized that the grain wasn't applied there. So uh, we're going to make sure that we copy and paste the grain all throughout the length of the video. Um, just make sure that you lock your below video layers so that you don't accidentally copy over anything. Okay, so let's watch that again. I hope this tutorial was useful for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions though, do please uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Otherwise, if you have any other Photoshop or Premiere Pro tutorials that you would like to see, I can definitely put that together for you guys. Otherwise, um, I'll try my best to upload more videos. <laughs> I know I haven't been the best at it so far, but thank you guys so much for being so patient with me. Um, for all of the support and kind words. Uh, they truly mean a lot and um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.